Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here bringing us another redesigning episode. I don't really know what number this is, but let's just go ahead and get into this thing. We have really cool products here, one by Vince and one by Connor, which I believe has like somewhat similar kind of differences or not differences, similarities in the mistakes when it comes to color, contrast and hierarchy. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's just go ahead and start off with Connor. Also, I just wanted to say this, selfie.com says so you guys can check out the everything pack. It's 30 bucks, you get to basically, pop, you basically get everything in my store everything that ever came out of my store and everything that comes out you get free through an email for one purchase of 30 bucks so if you've never done that seen about it know about it now you do know about it over what it's like 4,700 sales so you're not alone if you guys do do it I promise you you guys will enjoy it and if you guys don't do I say money back guarantee I don't know but I'm pretty confident you can go with that so if you guys haven't check it out in the description down below but uh, let's get this going All right, guys, so let's start off with the first sort of poster design, designed by Connor, by the way. He did a Valorant Champions Istanbul Grand Final kind of graphic, Optic versus Loud. There is a lot of success here, I think, when it comes to actually having the actual Champions logo, the, the players, the, 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 the actual fact that it's a Grand Finals, the, the really cool sort of like design portion of it. Like, it's really successful in its own right. However, there are a lot of negative contrasts that happen actually happens to this, right? So what I mean by that is the contrast is a little bit, uh, in my opinion, not too easy to kind of like focus on the hierarchy which I don't really feel like there is in the hierarchy because everything is literally just one or two different colors I think centering could be a bit of an issue there's, there's just a lot of different things that can be solved with actually leaving some of the colors to be the original colors of what they were the cool part is you worked in a really large document which I absolutely love what I will say is maybe 5k by 5k is a little excessive for social media I think anything like 3600 and below is really good you don't have to go 5k in my opinion unless you're like printing this i really appreciate you actually using some really high quality stuff uh which is already like a really major plus i think a lot of people do not do that so in my opinion these are sort of scenarios where i feel like uh, you, you do a lot and then you realize you might have done too much or maybe you don't realize you don't do too much because you really had a you probably already had a really successful overall look but then you were like i need to add more i need to add more i'll tell you what less is more what a really pretty asset by the way this is unreal whoever made that is literally a genius like the attention to detail in this product is really successful we just got to figure out a way to make it a little less like overbearing we're already we're already feeling a little more successful when we go back into this project here because one we got rid of the color correction on top of them you have this really heavy color correction on all these guys we almost start to lose the actual differentials and like overall branding of each of these two teams the fact that you actually have like really cool contrast of kind of jerseys and things like that is a really successful thing already so if i just take this stuff and kind of center it somewhat where you had it before we already have a really solid look from what we had before over here this is awkward kind of like spatial really awkward just space in the middle period that i feel like could have been easily navigated if you kind of move this guy over to the right a little bit more let's go ahead as well let's make this background black as well just like so Let's also maintain the fact that you use that nice, pretty gold. We're going to use that same gold uh, as well as on the pattern. So we'll do that for ourselves too. Now, if that's not working, if it's already too much, right? That, that in that pattern, typography elements, all that stuff. If it's too much, we can mute it by just using like a nice gray tone. So this little grand final part is a really nice touch. And I want to make sure I kind of play into what you already, already had success here. Uh, so like this is pretty dope right there. I'll take this versus... We'll also make this a nice contrast color of maybe not like a gold because if everything's gold there's nothing that really plays in, into it in our favor here so if i'm at versus a nice little white we can actually have that celebrate and actually kind of say hey these two are versing each other right i did that on, on accident but that actually looks kind of cool uh but however i want to actually control t to free transform but it keeps making it bigger that means when my keys are stuck please save me all right we're fixed we're back control control t here we go. This is what I actually wanted to do. I want to kind of have the verses play like this role of like filling some more of this space here. Maybe that's successful. Maybe it's not. Maybe I need to make this actually gray tone as well to mute this one just so it kind of adds a little more texture in the middle. Um, is it worth it? Probably not, but we can actually muse that same idea, but use actually logos. So more context of what's happening uh, rather than people depending on the fact they have to look at their jerseys for the overall idea of who's actually facing each other. So this is what I kind of meant before. So realistically, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to group these two together for a second and make these gray tone because we don't, we don't want to really be seen like, you know, too much. It's just more added value and context that's also not in the way. Honestly, instead, having these logos kind of play right here is actually a really cool idea. I might actually go with that instead. In this case as well, we kind of keep the logos, the colors. Why not? Maybe. And then over here we have this sort of like Istanbul. What is this? Like a like a cityscape, right? 
We're gonna make this a little more smaller and kind of let this play like a lower thirds kind of role. So this green here, what do you have it set up as? White on one side, white on the other side. I'll tell you what, that is not a successful gradient because it automatically makes it a little more negative. So in this case, you delete this white on this one side, keep this kind of tone right here, that, that color, right? And make this white black, then you're gonna instantly get a more recognizable contrasty image here. So right now we can actually see some of the actual details in this image. We're gonna move this over to the left to add in a little more highlights. Don't really like it, so I'm gonna move it to the left. Immediately I wanna make this white for a second, this finals text. Why? Because I'm already losing contrast if I were to add that color in that same color on the actual font, right? So I'm gonna make this uh, final text white, make it a little bit more smaller, move it a little further up, and ask myself, okay, now what's the issue? The issue right now that I'm kind of having is this kind of yellowish tone is kind of clashing with this lot of green that's happening right now. Right now, the, the unfortunate fact is, is that the green that's on these guys' jerseys or playing a little bit of a role is not as strong or, or even sitting right on the bottom here. So the, the first thing I'm gonna do is ask myself, do I wanna use a different color? Maybe I mute the color tone a little bit more, keep that gray tone by just making this, or excuse me, keep that gold tone by just using gray and a gold to get this more of like a, a gradient mesh effect. If I were to keep this text here, something needs to happen where the actual text is like actually on top of something. So the first thing I wanna try is a, like, a, like, a, like a black brush hit. So if I take a black brush hit and just kinda click a few times, just like so we can start to see a little bit more of that kind of like font play a nicer kind of like role and it actually being seen. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna mesh this a little bit to give it like some really nice unique curves and only wanna really add that like that black sort of like shadow only at the bottom here. I'm not gonna lie, I like how that looks right there. So we can go to ourselves and say that like, we're making a little layer mask for a second. We're gonna take our brush and kind of just go back in and erase a little bit so that way we don't lose too much of what's happening up top, right? The color correction on these guys are not that bad whatsoever, but I do think he uh, his tone is a little bit more too much like orangey and like uh, uh, warm over the cold tones that the Optic Gaming picture has. So we either gotta match either or. Do you want the cold tones or do we want the warmer tones? And I think if we do warmer tones, the, the overall atmosphere is already black and gold, which is already pretty much like warm. So I wanna might say to myself, I'm gonna make this more colder to actually kind of have a more uh, a temperature contrast as well. Let's get this exposure down, this contrast down. Over contrast, I would actually rather you use like a texture and a clarity together. I'm trying to really get some more of this facial features out, so I might actually take a brush. Nice adjustment brush. I'm gonna do brush right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just say to myself, let's select his face a little bit here, and then we'll take the tones of the shadows, and we'll make this kind of come out just a little bit more. I do think that actually was pretty successful there. I do think there's some other tones here that can definitely be kind of like taken out, like some reds maybe, possibly. Like right up here, there's some reds here, but if I, of course, lower the reds, I get rid of all the red in his face, which I also don't want. So besides focusing on that for a second, I'm gonna give some color correction to this guy over here. This guy is like overly sharp. I think it's just the actual photo itself. We're gonna also at least match that kind of same sharpness as the other guy on the other right side with this guy right here. So I'm saying to myself now, how do we make grand finals stand out? And that's why I'm guessing you actually chose to use an outer glow on here, right? However, besides that outer glow, we're gonna actually do more of a color correction or a, a, a layer style per se. So let's go to so an inner shadow here. Let's put this up. Let's put this on like a uh, like this color, but make it kind of white tone, right? We'll kind of lower this down a little bit like so. We'll make another copy of this. We'll make this a little more darker though. Then we'll change this to negative 90. Make that distance like two or so, just to make sure it just kind of like feels pretty somewhat okay. We'll put some satin on as well and like lower this down a little bit. Even so, do I like the grand final text overall? I don't really know. I do see it's actually rasterized. So I'll actually make another grand and just use a nice bold font as well, like a Druk or something like that. The reason why is we can't change the text is because he rasterized it. I'd rather you guys smart object, not rasterize. That way you guys can still change your fonts and your actual spelling mistakes possibly, um, by also still being able to take the distort and distorting it like so, right? So now we can get that same exact look just like so, boom, make a nice new layer. We're gonna take a nice little gray or gold tone, click in the middle here, put this on linear dodge add, gives a little more of like a, like a sparkly look to it. This versus is now kind of feeling a little bit too gritty where everything else is kind of more of this like modern, clean, technical, asymmetric feel. Um, so, or not asymmetric, the, the word is um, just, just not that word, not asymmetric, I don't know what else to say. Just to show you how powerful Ariel is, let's just go with Ariel for a second and see if it works, boom. Does that work? Bold, black. Eh, it works, but we're not gonna go with it. I think this vertigo 
kind of thought might be kind of cool here. It kind of has this like really unique V, but if we're going to use iconographies, that kind of tone could be kind of relayed over and over again pretty accurately with this just one simple font choice. I think it looks really good in my opinion. So we kind of have like this kind of stuff here. I want to make it a little bit more smaller so it kind of feels very much so like an added kind of like thing it actually does a really good job as well as kind of like pointing to uh the like the optic logo and the loud logo pretty pretty accurately i think i want it to feel very very technical and i think the smaller it feels or it is the more like successful it might be so i think the one thing i want to actually make sure i stand really like close to is the fact that you use a lot more of this kind of like smoke so i'm actually gonna put some smoke in front as well but besides leaving it so heavily like that i'm gonna take this hold alt to my keyboard go to blend if and then really take this and make sure I actually get that really nice blending uh, that you normally will not get uh, where you were like lower your opacity down, right? So I'm being very careful and like these little two things, it's so much. Now it's not as heavy, but it's also not as like hard to kind of like not see if you don't want to see it, right? So I'm going to take this, put an eraser on it for a second as well and really erase that middle just a little bit. There is this little bit of like a thing in my head that I'm saying is like, is grand legible enough? Um, but without changing too much of your actual concept, I would also say it's also not in the way like not successful, but I wonder if there's like a quick fix I can do. Hold on. Maybe it's about changing the actual overall color. If I change the, the luminance uh, or the lightness of this to like more darker, that might be also really helpful. Let's go with that on all of them for a second. Does this versus seem kind of like in the way that it's white or should I just make it gold, right? Something like this and just to maybe add a little more kind of like, you know, fact that it's like a versus and it doesn't actually get lost. We'll take this, make this in gold for a second kind of do something like this just like kind of kind of giving like a half and half like a battle kind of thing here boom do i like that i think i think are we good so with that action let's go ahead and give this a nice quick little kind of comparison let's put over connor's on the left hand side mine on the right hand side to really show you guys and showcase what i did that actually was not so much different from what he actually accomplished in the first part so realistically looking at his all the contrast was all this one simple color of like this goldish tone which is which was really pretty however the contrast of the background also being like a, a more darker and like purer black would also make it a little more less kind of flat but also giving us some more color contrast of keeping these actual players in their same exact kind of like color grading overall like photography like the original photography colors that combined with actually adding some of these elements that you kind of have like really really pretty like sort of like you know left and right kind of like holding housing framings the actual overall liquify back on the background making it sing a little bit less loud will also just give you guys more compliments or, or more confidence and adding more stuff in while keeping things also very very still at the same time so it feels like that's more luxurious take on adding context as well as not just feeling more just like adding stuff to add stuff with that connor hopefully kind of get what i was going for uh, uh originally but also just taking a quick little mental note you have a close up in your mind right gold and white let's just say it does not have to only be literally gold and white. White and black are automatically a part of every color scheme known to man, right? Well, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but like it's overall, it's, it's justifiable because they're not actually colors, they're shades. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so the next product is by Vince and we have this sort of Patriots Overwatch, uh, George Mason University Esports team, right? I'm guessing this is what this is. The, the overall, for the record, by the way, he asked me if he can actually keep this orange um, which is, pff, I got this, okay? So one of the things I think here as working is the fact that you kind of have this really big lineup and you did a really good job, I think, at least housing information and like showcasing like enough uh, a context of who these people are. One thing I will say though, is it's so text heavy. There needs to be a way to get rid of all this text on the top half, right? Let's just see what we can do if we kind of simplify some stuff and gave things its appropriate color scheme. But let's just take all of these photos of everybody and actually drag them in. So besides that, we have some information of here too. Fortunately, using a very simple font, so it's easiest for us to kind of like fix that. And you actually named all your files. Honestly, I'm just looking at it right now. The fact that you did this is it makes this like a, a an absolute W. I'm gonna go into it though and make sure all of these do not have any layer styles on it really quick. Also, besides closing all the groups, by the way, if you hold control and shift, it'll open and close all the groups at once. So besides actually going through every single one and closing them, control, shift, click, boom. The, the overall lineup of these guys work very well, but there is this little issue of like this guy being so far behind, this guy being in front again, then behind. Let's make sure these two people in the middle, one, two, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. So you at least have an even look, which is really good for us. So we'll take this, move this guy over here, move this person over here. I think that lineup might work better. Let's move them a little closer. Let's see how close we can actually get them without making them like too close and like you can't really see features anymore. I'm wondering to myself if I want to do this though, like kind of like do like this. Does that feel better? Why did I do that? I knew, I knew, wait, well, why did I do that? I, 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 uh, I'm already indecisive enough. Maybe we can do it. 
Let's try to make it like a little less. I think we get a little more like, yeah, we get a little more artsy about it. It looks really nice. Um, I like how that looks. So now we have the other issue. So we have this grayish tone background. So let's maybe let's, let's, uh, let's try to keep at least some of the stuff that we have going on back here. What is this? That's what that texture was? This texture is pretty cool. I think you might have lost it though when you put it down here like this. Maybe even just on lighten and only put it on the background just like that. Does that feel nice? I guess if we want to keep that texture, I have to keep the texture. I'm trying to make this as like relatable as what you did as possible. So I'm going to think if I keep the texture, I'm going to lower it down a little bit though. Just so it's, it's there, but it's not like so like, like, like there, you know? So I'm going to go over, say to myself, let's make this font a little more just kind of like fun, right? It's like a little more, a little more something about it. And to be honest, I think the place I land is this little P, uh, little Pi Pi font right here, right? So I'm going to say like, this is pretty nice. If we just kind of put this back here we'll use a more sort of like really nice mono font that kind of like shares that like that more kind of like something about it like cultural aspect of it that makes it feel more a little cooler besides using the overwatch word i think the overwatch logo might be way better to use here giving us just a little bit more character to work with and maybe even so much a theme to lean on as well so maybe even changing how this typography kind of reads a little bit I do think this kind of yellow might be better if it was like Overwatch yellow, something like that, right? Or that orange tone will make this Overwatch not gray, but also gives you an idea. Do I want to use this gray somewhere? We'll see in a second here. Now, that kind of feels pretty good in my opinion. George Mason University Esports realistically is not that important, right? But maybe we do like something like this on this one side, like so, like this. Let's just do 2022 roster. We'll just put in esports for now, but like that's just enough, some, just some kind of context to kind of fill that space right there. Maybe this font now kind of feels a little bit too playful for, or for their for their brand. Something like this is pretty nice too. Maybe a more grit feeling might kind of be like pretty nice. I do think there was some sort of context to this like background being like, like that gray grungy-ish tone. Um, and that use of like blacks and darks, this might be a tone that you might were like looking for. So we'll go with that for a second. We'll make, th there's a little bit too much orange happening. Let's go ahead and add a nice little label thing on the bottom, right? We have the names in there. So let's go ahead and do the same exact thing. Let's maintain some color schemes. So let's use some maybe green, maybe not orange, but green. Could the green work if I wanted the green to work or could the, the orange or yellowish tone work if I wanted to use, oh, maybe, yeah, let's do with that. Let's go with the orange yellow tones. Now with this though, can I actually group all these guys together, click on this and like use that nice grayish tone. Might even make it more grayish or blackish. And realistically, we don't have to like line it up perfectly to them, like right under them, because it's gonna read from like left to right how it would, would like normally. Honestly, for this sake, you know, let's go with just Matt. You know, his name might be Matthew, but homie's gonna be Matt for today. It's way too long. Uh, and if it's not, if you take offense to that, I apologize, but you're not in control right now, I am. Do I wanna actually separate the roll icons add a little bit more kind of like complexity to this design without actually overdoing it make it nice and bold and automatically we get a nice more congested look right that looks pretty good now that, that looks good let's focus on these guys a little bit more for a second so really quick we're gonna do a really quick pass um unfortunately they're not like uh how do you say uh higher quality so i'm gonna take some of these blemishes out this will make the photo feel a lot more cleaner when you get rid of all these shines here i can see this guy with like long ass hair in like 10 years ripped out of his mind and just like, I don't know why I can see it, but I can see homie looking real good in the future. What I have now is some nice, clean, pretty faces. Honestly, the teeth whitening can actually go uh, hand to hand too. I think teeth whitening is pretty important too. So I'm gonna do it, why not? So I'm not gonna overly white them, but I just whited them a little bit. So it kind of feels a little more natural, uh, a little more just kind of like white, why not, right? Boom, we'll group these guys together and make a new duplicate. We'll take a nice little smart object and we're gonna color correct them all at the same time. And realistically, I would kind of do this all solo at like one one after another, but I think for this context here, uh, I don't wanna, I just don't want to. So I'm gonna do them all at the same time. And hopefully uh, it doesn't look bad, we'll just see. So we'll go into it to add some, Texture, a tiny bit of clarity, some sharpening to it as well. Let's say some shadows to bring out some of these jersey highlights. We'll also realistically get rid of a lot of that orangey tone. Where is it at? Can't really get rid of the greens, so but maybe make them a little more like prominent though. Not bad at all. And we don't really see the bottom anyway, so I'm not gonna really worry about it too much. So I'm gonna say to myself, I like how that looks. And uh, let's, let's go back and look for a second. We add some smoke again. Okay, we have some of this like texturing back here too. So let's say, let's add some of this smoke in here, right? And we're, we're not gonna use color overlay exactly. We're actually gonna use a nice gradient map. It'll actually keep a lot of that actual smoke density that the smoke has. Then we'll say to ourselves, we can add some more of this contrast in there. So maybe we take the smoke itself, maybe make it a little more darker like this. I'm honestly not too sure. Maybe we can also go in with a blend if for a second too. 
See if this helps us at all. Dude, does it need to be orange? I'm not too sure if it does. Cause it is a lot. It's a lot of orange. We can add our own focus light in the background here. Put it on linear dodge add for a second, right? Then we'll add another new layer, another light hit. Okay, what's happening here? What do I like about this? What's successful about this? I think is the fact that it looks really good on the text. What's not successful is it looks really bad on the background here. Now, can I say this by making this background darker? Be a little bit more like this. Ooh, okay, now we're getting somewhere. We lose Patriots in the background just a little bit. Now we can kind of bring them back if we're to lower this down just a little bit, it's like so. Now we can give ourselves maybe like a little bit of like a ring light behind these guys. We use a solid color. We put this on them. We kind of hide the, the thing for a second. We go in with a nice, very, very small opacity brush. We get in here close and we start just painting ourselves a nice rim light on these guys and see where this is gonna get us. So with that, we did another pass. We actually add a little more like on this second pass, a little bit more light. The first pass is actually doing like a very much so like a very small outline. Second pass is like a lot more light on the shoulders. And overall, you can see a nice big difference on that nice, very simple rim light. That doesn't do too much, but there's a lot in the sense of like the overall picture. It looks really good in my opinion. Patriots Rise seems to be their slogan. So we can add Patriots Rise in places. Let's just do it. Let's just see where I can add it at. So taking it, moving it just like so can be kind of nice. Patriots Rise on the, on the right hand side for some, for some like nice added value there. We'll take this, separate a little bit. We'll also do Patriots Rise. And then maybe we can just add in the words Overwatch, because why not for some added uh, context too for what it is, right? So that way we kind of add in some of that slogan stuff and some more of that nice fun stuff, but we're just some, we're just some texture, right? So Overwatch, Patriots, 2020 roster, esports, George Mason uh, Universe Esports, it's kind of all this subtext information. We also got a lot of information down here, nice and digestive, so you can just kind of match who to who really quickly. Oh, this guy's a tank, this guy's a DPS, this guy's a tank, this guy's a healer, etc. And the overall thing that happens is we, we immediately see Overwatch Patriots. This all here down here is still subtext, which I think as well can also be a little smaller technically. But then that might kind of get rid of the overall concept and reasoning behind what he was doing over here. And I think as well, I'm gonna add in some more like just like small little like texture elements here. So I'm gonna add like a number 10, some nice little dust in here to kind of speak to that like grungy kind of aspect that we actually went with on, on I guess accident with that uh, type choice. We'll use this or could we actually use a blend, a blend if here actually. Immediately getting rid of that black and then just slowly but surely getting rid of that more of that white very seamlessly adding in perfect that texture i think looks pretty good so for the overall kind of like overlay kind of texture i'm gonna put just a small little unsharp mask real quick and with just a little bit of an unsharp mask you guys look at his guy's eyes for a second kind of see with on off on off very small like adjustment but enough to actually make it a little, feel a little more like i guess higher quality but let's go to bring up before and after vince and myself and kind of see we're actually wet with this so one thing the overall composition they actually had was actually really good but not only the color was a little bit flat all kind of sung the same exact song the same exact vibrancy uh with like that grayish that orange it all kind of felt the exact same even though they could feel really separate by just quickly tweaking just a little bit of the color so with that i kind of took it took the actual overall orange made it kind of a little more yellowish tone like their jerseys themselves added in uh like the overall patriots kind of like font to make it a little, a little more gritty since you already have that like really cool paper texture in the background of course make the actual lineup more of like a pyramid and not so aggressively a pyramid so it's like a hierarchy issue but overall just to give it a little more context like a more of a heroic stance and overall gave ourselves a pretty cool look with a little justifying like uh, dust in there to kind of add a little more to that grungy kind of element but with that being said that is the end of the video here today so redesigning episodes i'm trying to make them uh, either it's going to be me redesigning them entirely differently or redesigning them and taking their exact psd and like only making small tweaks to the things that i think can be worked on and overall see a very very in, like instant change and hopefully you guys can take this go to your own works and be like okay how did Seso navigate through this how can i do that for myself overall that's all I got. But if you guys want to be a part of this, go to discord.gg slash HQ. Go ahead and go into redesigning and throw in your PSD as well as your imagery in there. And uh, maybe you can be next up in the overall redesigning stuff. So with that being said, Sensor HQ out. You're going to get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace, and uh, enjoy your weekend.